Well, thanks for tuning in again. And I've gotten some messages by now uh, telling me that, uh, oh gosh, you know, people are no longer willing to make political videos. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm still making them. So if you want to keep listening, then um, you're welcome. So this is another installment. Um, this piece comes from Stephen Aftergood. Uh, he is the editor of the Secrecy News on the Federation of American, uh, American Scientists website. Um, you can look it up on the web. American, um, Federation of American Scientists, FASA.org. Implementing Domestic Intelligence Surveillance is the title of this article. Upon lawful request and for $1,000, Comcast, one of the nation's leading telecommunication companies, will intercept its customers' communications under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. The cost for performing any FISA surveillance requiring deployment of an intercept device is $1,000 for the initial startup fee, including the first month of intercept service. According to the newly disclosed Handbook for Law Enforcement, it's a PDF document which you can probably no longer find on Comcast because it's probably gone by now. Thereafter, the surveillance fee goes down to $750 per month for each subsequent month in which the original FISA order or any extension thereof are active. With respect to surveillance policy, the Comcast manual hews closely to the letter of the law, of course especially since all the laws have been changed. So Comcast will comply with uh, disclosure commands, demands, sorry, demands, presented in the form of national security letters. However, the manual says attention must be paid to the various court proceedings in which the legal status of such requests are at issue. Now, I'm not sure what's at issue anymore. The issue is that Comcast shouldn't be surveilling us in the first place. They shouldn't be collecting data on anyone, including what we watch on TV or anything else. But, you know, that kind of argument has sort of fallen by the wayside um, and becomes legalese rhetoric at this point. So tune into the secrecy news <laughs> over at uh, Federation of American Scientists every once in a while. And uh, they've also got some really good stuff on nuclear weapons technology over there, just so you know what's coming. <laughs> good night. <laughs>